Well, hello there. Okay, it's time for another Q&A. This is gonna be my Snapchat q and I'm gonna break these Q&As into like four parts. So the Snapchat Q&A will be this video. The next Q&A will be Instagram. And then I think I'm gonna do the, the YouTube questions will be two parts. So there should be four Q&As this month instead of just one. So yeah, this will be fun. Um, as always, you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, down below. Vanity Diva is my Snapchat with extra A. Um, it'll be down below. And my Instagram is local celebrity with extra Y because I'm extra AF. And it'll be down below as well. So Instagram, Snapchat, down below. Okay. And all that jazz. And you still have time on Instagram to ask me questions for this set of Q&As this month if you want. Underneath the video, I posted on my Instagram asking you to ask me questions. And of course, on my YouTube video, I posted last week. Underneath that video, to ask me a question. I mean, asking you to ask me questions. You can still po uh, ask me questions there for the next Q and A's coming up soon. But yeah, but this is the Snapchat ones. Okay, um, let's just get this rolling, girl. Rolling. Okay. Zaki Poo's underscore girl forty five asks. Oh, sorry, this is actually Instagram, but I included this for the Snapchat because this was a DM snap. I, you know, this is a DM. Um, because I posted on my story and it, you know how when you post people comment on your story, it goes to your DMs on Instagram. So I put, I just posted this as the, because this is all the screenshotted ones, so. Anyway, but the rest are Snapchat, I promise, but this is the one Instagram I got for DM. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag inconsistent though, right? What else is new? Okay, so Zaki Poo's underscore girl 45 asks, what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6 plus in gold. I've had it for five and a half years now. Um, I'm planning on getting a new computer this year. That's my plan. This is a new computer, girl. And then maybe next year, get a new phone. So I'm about to upgrade my life in the next year. So, yes. I have a WhatsApp on my iPhone if you want to check that out from years ago. If you want to see this phone up close and personal. <laughs> okay. Um... Everything's screenshot and uh, I've got it on my computer because you're wondering where I'm looking at my computer right now. Okay, Anthony, this is all, and the rest is all Snapchat now. Okay. Uh, Anthony asks, um, hey Michael, I love your channel and your content is fire. Thank you so much. I was wondering, what would your dream car be? Okay, so I'm kind of like both things. So my ultimate dream car would be a Mercedes G-Wagon in like, I was silver because in Houston it gets hot in summertime. So I wouldn't do black, even though I want a black one, but I would get it in like a silver. Because white, you have to wash all the time. It gets dirty. It looks dirty all the time. And then black is too hot. So I would get like a silver or graphite-ish color. Like, like graphite. That's my dream car. But then sometimes I think, oh god, maybe I'll just get something like a Honda. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> my dream, dream car would be a Mercedes G-Wagon. I love those. They're so cute. It used to be a Range Rover, but I feel like those aren't as popping as they used to be. So I don't know. Okay. Sarah623 asks, what's your favorite online shop? The bench shop at Love You Queen. Love you too, girl. Mm -hmm. Um, I really love Rue 21. Their online store. I mean their their outlet is amazing. But I don't really go shopping right now because of what's going on. So it's all about the online shopping. And the online shopping halls are gonna come eventually, you guys. But yeah. By the way, if you guys don't know, I haven't talked about this yet on my channel, but I place the Bath and Butters online order which should be here at the end of the month. So look out for that. Um, someone, someone was gracious enough to give me a coupon, a subscriber of mine on Instagram. So I use her, uh, I use a 20% off coupon she gave me. So yeah, I placed an order. And I'll probably still have Bath & Butters orders once a month from now on because you know me, I just, I mean, if you have, if you have coupon codes, let me know. But if I don't have a coupon code, I'll still do it anyway because I love Bath & Butters, to be honest. I love Bath & Butters, you know, I had cat. I'm paying extra, but what else is new? I'm extra, so I like to pay extra. Um, but yeah, that's coming at the end of the month. And a Dollar Tree haul, because I know someone's asking about that, is coming. I filmed it just before this video, and it'll be up after this video today. So, yeah. I'll be like in an hour from now. Um, but yeah, Route 21. I love their online. Oh my god, Route 21 is amazing. Um, yeah. Also, Spencer's. I love I, I love t-shirts, like graphic tees. This is actually Route 21. Lakers! Lakers! Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Let's 
making sure I okay Quindarella mm, hey girl uh, what would you ever sell makeup like unique Mary Kay pharmacy have you ever heard of them if yes which you like better I've heard of Mary Kay I haven't heard of unique well I've heard of unique too I haven't heard of pharmacy um, but I sell makeup probably not you know <laughs> Um, but I used to wear Mary Kay makeup in high school, believe it or not. My math tutor in high school used to sell at her house and I would, she would give me a discount. It was lit. I used to love their eyeshadows and their lip glosses. Yeah. She refused to sell me lipstick. So she was like, I'm too young. You're too young to wear lipsticks. I was like, well, like 17. I'm like, okay, whatever. Girl. Um, and of course, when's your next Dollar Tree haul or nine cents store haul? I just filmed one. About five minutes ago, it'll be up in like an hour. So, hey. Um, so, yeah. First haul in months. I'm so excited. That haul, you know, I love hauls. You know, I love hauls, girl. Okay, thanks, Quinn. And then she loves Dollar Tree hauls. Like, those are her, like her favorite videos of mine. So, Quinn will be happy, girl. Um, Nashali Paseco asks Who's your favorite YouTuber? Mmm. Favorite YouTuber? I watch so many different people. I'm trying to think if I have a favorite. Um, honestly, it used to be Trisha Paytas for years. Now I just like commenting on her videos because I like leaving comments because it was just so weird and crazy and over the place. I like leaving some funny comment and whatever and then leaving. I don't even watch her videos anymore. <laughs> um, rarely. Um, I don't know. When it comes to Bath and Body Works, I really like Bren. I like her videos and her uh, vlog channel. Um, I'm trying to think. Who else do I like a lot? Uh, there's so many people that like I watch, but then I don't really like. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't really have a favorite YouTuber. You know what? Let me go to my freaking YouTube and see. Because I feel like I always, I always get asked this and I don't really know. Like, nothing really comes to mind. So let me go to my YouTube and see who, who I'm subscribed to and who, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you better. Oh, I like the Hello Leash. She has a series on Trisha Paytas' controversies. I love that. I'm subscribed to... Um, if, you, if you like conspiracy theories and like that, and like, you know, that, that kind of stuff, then um, watch the YouTube channel Scariest Movie Ever. I like his live streams and his YouTube videos, Scariest Movie Ever. Yeah, that channel. Um, I like his content. Um, Hello Leash. I like her content. Um, I like Trevor Ko Trevor Kowalski. He does like men's fashion videos. Um, oh, I watch Tina Marie. I like her haul videos and her Project Use It Ups and her Empties videos. Um, who else? Oh, I like the Right Opinion. I like his videos, most of them. Um. And I watch some movie review channels like Ryan Hollinger, Cody Leach, Drum Dums. Um, sometimes I watch Amber Reed. I have to be in the mood for it though. <laughs> uh, of course, the Joe Show. He hasn't uploaded in a few weeks. I miss you, Joe. Upload a video. I miss you. <laughs> I know you're bored during quarantine, so just upload a video, girl. <laughs> so I watch the Joe Show whenever he uploads a video. And. Oh, Jimmy Rambles. Hey, Jimmy. Shout out to you, Jimmy. What's up, girl? Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. Um, who else? Of course, Shane, when, I, when he uploads a video. Ryland, most of the time. Uh, Adams, most of the time. Sometimes I'm like, eh. I have to be in the mood for that, too. Yeah, I think that's mostly it. And then people I just found through... 
I mean, let me look at my homepage to see who I... Oh, I love David Dobrik. I've been watching a lot of him lately. Yeah. Yeah, David Dobrik. Um, the Creep Show Art. Some drama channels, I'll watch some of those. Um, who else? Yeah, that's all I can think of. Like, yeah, and then and I'll just look up people randomly, just random stuff on YouTube, and I'll just watch a lot of random people. But yeah, hope that helps. And any recommend? Oh, please, I love you, I love you too. And any recommendations for small YouTubers? Yeah, find something you're passionate about and stick to that. And it doesn't matter how many views you get or subscribers, as long as you're passionate about it and you and you're and you're having fun doing it, that's all that matters. At the end of the day. Um, but do something that you want to do, not because you're doing it for views. Do it because you are genuinely passionate and talking about it or showing it. Whether it's hauls, beauty, or drama, or talking. Think about what do you like to do? What do you want your channel to be about? Like, do you want to, do you like, are you, are, are you someone who is really opinionated and loves to do commentary? Like, I've been doing a lot of drama commentary videos lately and I've been loving it. It's like gossiping about different drama on YouTube. I do a lot of YouTube drama videos. Um, and I've been loving it and you guys have been loving it. the views have been really good on those So that's been really popping lately Of course I do Q&A's every month for you guys. I love doing Q&A's. It's like me talking with you guys, little chit chats um, And see what works, what doesn't. If it doesn't work, you don't want to do it, don't do it. If it works and you like it and you've had passion, do it more like um, Yeah, for me my main thing on this channel is haul videos when I can and I like doing drama videos commentary um, I like doing those kind of videos. So That's what I mostly do on this channel and other random things too here and there when I feel like it. Okay, this is gonna be the last question of, to of today's video. Uh, and Tiff asks, craziest hookup story. First love story, love you babe. Love you too babe. Okay, so craziest hookup story. So this is gonna be crazy. So I was thinking about this the other day and literally this happened a month ago, right before quarantine happened, early March. I went on Tinder and I swiped right and got a match. What else is new? And this weirdo, okay, I met him at the bar. We hooked up, right? I wake up to him tying me up, no joke. He literally ties me up in my sleep. Yeah, because I say I spend the night at his place. I know, biggest mistake ever. I mean, the SEX was great. Well, this is not gonna be monetized anyway, so the sex was great. Um, and then, I dozed off, fell asleep, I woke up a couple hours later. I'm tied up. He tied my ankles to the head, to the, to the, to the bed, to the bars of the bed, and my hands like this. I felt like I was doing an exorcist. He would tape in my mouth. I was like, are you gonna kill me? I was like, mm -hmm. He's like, kinky, right, kinky, right? And then he gets on top of me, starts licking me, and like putting whipped cream on me, and like licking me off, and I'm like, oh, and like strawberry syrup on me, and licking me, and it's like, oh, do you like that? I'm like, so finally, after about five minutes, he like takes the tape off my mouth. He's like, what? I'm like, this is creepy untying me. So he not unties me. So I was literally tied up for like 10 minutes. Yeah. So that's the craziest hookup story recently. I have more crazier ones, but just recently, like, and this happened like a week before quarantine. He has to like figure out for the quarantine. He's been blowing my phone up lately and I've been just like, ignore, ignore, ignore. I'm about to block him out because, ew. He's like, oh my god, can we hook up again? I'm like, uh, no, because the sex was good, but then you freaking tied him up when I was sleeping and freaking like poured syrup on me without even wanting it. Who puts tape on their mouth and ties me up while I'm sleeping? Creeper. Ugh. Anyway, first love story. Um, the first guy that I ever like fell in love with, I think, I don't know if it's love or just a huge crush because I'm gonna say it's love, but I was a freshman he was a sophomore in high school and we oh my god I won't say his name but yeah like I mean he told me he loved me so I'll just say his love um I guess I love him too yeah um for some I was like I was in love, in love he wasn't the best boyfriend but you know in high school, what boyfriend is great. Um, most rare. But long story short, because I don't want this video to be too long, but we went through a lot of ups and downs. He was usual, my usual type, unfortunately, which is closet bisexual. Um, 
and he had a lot of issues with being out with himself but he finally came out as bi but then he would like I mean long story short we finally, we finally got together we, we, were, we were on and off dating all through high school and then first year of my college freshman year of college and then I finally broke up with him because he was like he would like flirt with girls right in front of me and like tell me he wanted to like F girls right in front of me and I was like that's so disrespectful in front of all our friends and yeah all that kind of stuff like that and I don't know he lived too far away from me and we, we really never saw each other except in school and like I don't know like he would do cute cute things like he would always call me and stuff and like write music for me on it because he was like into music and stuff but I don't know like it was good but then it was just kind of like you know that kind of guy that like you're with him but like you feel like he's he's like not really always present when you're like with him like he's kind of somewhere else like I felt like that I always got that kind of vibe with him like he was more into himself than you I don't know but then he was really cute too like my birthday he bought me all these cute little stuff like my, uh, I think it was my 16th or 15th. My 15th birthday, he bought me all this cute stuff from Claire. It was like a little clutch and a like, cute little feather boa and like, I don't know. But then he did, there's a lot of bad things too. Ugh, we had a lot of ups and downs. I'm not going to go into it. It's very Ross and Rachel, but high school edition, it was very, um, yeah. I don't know. He definitely did a lot of bad things to me. Well, I won't go into that. But, um,. <laughs> But it, when it was good, it was cute. When it was bad, it was bad. You know how it is. So, there were good times. There were bad times. But anyway, so there we go. But that was the first guy I was in love with, I could say. Because before then, I didn't really... Well, I did, guys. But, like, it was never love. Yeah. That guy I felt hard for, girl. I felt like hard for. Yeah. I mean, there were guys that I, like, liked a lot, a lot, a lot, but they, like, you know, we didn't date. I just had a crush on them, like, in... Well. Anyway. Actually, this... Mm. <laughs> okay, we, we won't go into that, because there were guys that, like... We, I would secretly date, because, you know, middle school guys aren't really out. I, I was the only one who was out. Well, I was like, actually, I didn't think anything. I was out. I mean, I didn't have to be out. Everyone knew it, but I never confirmed it until high school. Like, that was gay, but... There'd be guys that, like were straight well, they really weren't but they would be like they would date me like after school we would go on dates or like i go to his house in front of my house we would date but like we would date but like no one else would think you know because we were yeah you know how it is in middle school these classic cases girl hell even now there are down little guys that were girl anyway <laughs> down little man what are you gonna do girl what are you gonna do um, and download men love me for some reason. I mean, I love them too, but they break your heart. Download guys break your heart. Mm. Okay, I hope that was good for your the little story, many, many story time. And this video is, of course, almost 20 minutes. What else is new? Now you know why I'm doing four parts, because even on this quick Q&A, it managed to be 20 minutes long. Okay, almost 20 minutes long. So, yeah, so there'll be, uh, the next one will be answering your Instagram questions, or at least some of those, and then I'll work my way through the rest of Instagram, and then we'll do YouTube in a few videos. So, I'll probably do one of these a week or something, so, until I finish up all these questions. And again, you can follow me on Instagram um, and Snapchat if you aren't already. Snapchat is a, a band of diva extra A, and Instagram is local slow diva extra Y. Follow me on there, both down below. Yeah, follow, add me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'd appreciate a follow and add there if you would like, and yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video until next time. Bye, guys.